Uh, I am so fed up with this new generation of men. They literally don't want to get you no flowers. They don't want to take you on no dates. All they want to do is ask you what you're doing all day long and tell you lies. Like, I'm over it. If you're a man who likes to shoot his shot at women at the gas station, um, you have a better opportunity of offering her one of these three things. Um, hey, let me pump your gas for you. Or let me reimburse you for your gas. Or, hey, let me pay for your gas. And then you proceed to shoot your shot and shoot yourself. If you're not doing one of the three and we're standing at the gas station, you might as well just get back in your car and just go home. You might as well just get back in your car and ride up to wherever you came from. Like, there's no way in the world I would be sitting at the gas station. Somebody shooting a shot at me as a woman and I'm sitting here pumping my own gas. The least you could do is come and pump it. Come and pump it. If you ain't got no money, come and pump it. Like, y'all just be at the gas station talking. Y'all just be at the gas station talking. Like, you get the most love, and I don't care what city you in, you get the most love when you go to the gas station. You could literally look like absolutely nothing. Body on all that. Trust me, you feeling low down, girl, go to the gas station. They're going to hype you up. They're going to hype you up, for sure. I say this lovingly. So many folks in my comments that say, yeah, I get it. He's a good man, but it should be more. I need this spark. He's not my type. Let me tell you about your type. Your type has historically played you. Your type has historically lied or cheated. Your type has not wanted to commit. So at some point we got to say, hmm, maybe the choices that I'm making are poor and I need to make better and different choices. And maybe my type is problematic. And so if I change my type, I'll have a different response. I'll have a different outcome. I implore you, change your type. Dating and a great guy amazing qualities but no spark should i end it what is the spark that you guys speak of if a person is a good human being that has great qualities she said amazing qualities what is the spark that you're looking for what more could he do for you swag is a spark i don't care about no swag we invest too much in swag we, in, we invest too much in butterflies. There is too much of an investment in this, in this energy of there's no spark, there's no chemistry, there's no... He's a good man. That should turn you on. That should be the spark. That should be the butterflies that you speak of. That should be the chemistry. So if you're dating over 40 and someone asks you, why are you still single? Show them this. I'm going to break down the dating pool for you. We have all the men. You need to take away the ones that are married, aren't age appropriate because we are over 40, ones that are gay, ones that are broke, the ones that are emotionally unavailable, the ones that still have drama with their ex. We're going to take away the ones that are perpetual bachelors, okay? Then we have the ones that don't know what they want. The ones that love bomb you. And then, all right, so this is what we have. We want someone who's attractive. I have tens, so I need someone over 5'8". So a few people who decide they still want to smoke cigarettes, they have to meet the people who don't want any more children. And this is what I'm left with. However, we need to take this then. They're not all in my area. We need to then spread these people around the world this is what we're dealing with any questions i know guys love to be the new and they don't want to chase but you have to chase do men chase you uh i don't really answer dms i don't give them the chance okay but you want them to chase you but you're not going to answer them yeah keep going one day i will one day you will yeah hey. when you're deserving hey hey fellas um y'all tell me if if this is the same for y'all but Am I tripping or is it easier to get girls when you broke? If you get on social media, you swear you have to have money to date girls. These bitches be getting cracked on an air mattress in your mom crib. And how you think I know? Nigga, I was cracking them on the couch in my aunt crib. Bro, I hit the most girls when I was broke. They didn't expect nothing from me but some dick. And that's all I had to offer. Aside from a bottle of Burnett's, you know what I'm saying? That I got a the $7 bottle that I got to hold for the whole weekend so they can't get that much. A, a little eighth. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to last me a week. And, and a black and mild. For bitches that demand so much on social media, 
How come y'all don't make those same demands for men that you only want to sleep with? Man, you know how many girls out on crack with, with minimal effort? I'm talking about bare minimum. Not even bare minimum. Less than bare minimum. And then I see niggas out there taking them out on dates like, bro, you ain't even got to do all that. Just let it hit the road so you're going you gonna to get that. Nah, but I'm not even going to lie to y'all, bro. It, it, it's a lot harder, you know what I'm saying, to date when, once you got some money. Because you start thinking about shit like, yo, where am I going to take this girl? And, and like when I didn't have money, it was only one place to take them, back to the crib to hit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, every time I holler at a girl, yo, you try to chill because that's the only thing we can do. When I was broke, I promise you, bro, not a single girl ever demanded a date from me. But now that I got some money, they always be trying to figure out some way to get some money out of me. And that's exactly the reason why I don't lead with my wallet. Hey, hey, fellas, um, y'all tell me if, if this is the same for y'all, but am I tripping or is it easy to get girls when you broke? All right, Charlotte right, one. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, to be in great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful that got there, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of him. Shout out to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right. And as we've seen in the clips, all right, we want to go into a lesson to it's all a scam. Okay. And the Queen of Heaven, okay, is being confounded, you know, because you deal with, you know, the modern woman, you know, she's engulfed, you know, in the spirit. Of the queen of heaven you know which the bible refers to as ishtar you know at certain times and lord will i do a separate video just going into that you know but mainly you know how that image of being confounded you know because under the banner you know the queen of heaven you know uh the woman all right mainly the women of the tribes and mainly the women of the southern kingdom you know they've been put on this pedestal you know been worshiped you know, um, been pretty much been able to play the victim and the hero, you know, within their poor decision making and their narrative, you know, has weakened, you know, their narrative can no more, all right, be used, you know, by the modern woman. Okay. There was a time, you know, when she could do no wrong, you know, no matter how many you know, no matter how many poor decisions she made, no matter how many children she had by, you know, um, poor, you know, um, um, you know, poor men, okay, low quality men, you know, she would still be looked at, you know, as innocent, can do no wrong, okay, a victim that needs to be rescued, but a hero for holding it down by herself, okay, but now that's being confounded. You know, and as you've seen from the video, which, you know, there was a skit, but the mindset on a lot of men that they don't even look either way, man. Okay, one of the worst things you can do as a man is add, all right, the modern woman to your situation. Okay, with the chaos and the madness and it comes with because you have to, uh, 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 when you deal with these women, her poor decision making, okay, is, 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 is part of their baggage, man. And they have no problem transferring their poor decision making, them consequences for a poor decision on the man that had nothing to do with it. And men, you know, are waking up to the fact, and it's like, shit, Jake would rather go overseas. Jake would rather deal with other races in America. Okay? But the, but the modern nigga woman okay it, it is not even you know an option a simp with simps you know men who are just you know uh, and all still at the nigga woman okay so let's go here let's get this in Sirach 26 and um 22 it says and harlot shall be accounted in spittle but a married woman is a towel against death to her husband yeah because you know, I, I, the majority of the modern women, you know, they pretty much operate as harlots. Okay. 
they they operate as harlots, man, because here it is, you know, they give the, themselves over to men, okay, of low quality for nothing. But then when it comes to other men, they try to market themselves, okay, as a thing of value. Okay, but as we, you know, as, as society, okay, and it all began with the with the prophets, you know, because this whole red pill movement of calling Eve out, well, the apostles were doing that before there was any type of red pill movement on YouTube. Okay, and ultimately, you know, this lifestyle is attached to an idol, and it's the Lord that's confounding, you know, the idols of the earth. Okay, and the Queen of Heaven is a major idol used, you know, to weaken, you know, society, especially the tribes. Okay, and Esau plays a big part in pushing the woman, you know, because you go into Ishtar, you know, she was the, the goddess of, of love, you know, war, you know, so she had a masculine, you know, um, um, dynamic to her, fertility, you know, for all these children. Okay, when you really go into Ishtar. You know, I say, Lord, we'll, we'll, you know, do a separate video just on it. Okay. But, um, yeah, Esau, you know, through Hollywood, he played a major part, you know, in establishing the woman, you know, especially, you know, the Southern Kingdom as, you know, this goddess. Okay. And they've been able to ride that wave, you know, benefit from it, you know, make poor decisions and still win. Okay. But now, you know, it's to the point to where she has become, you know, so useless and expect so much, all right, that, 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 you know, it will be, you know, super stupid to deal and get it wrapped up in that madness, man. Okay, so we're seeing that the woman is becoming spittle, okay, under the, 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 the doctrine of feminism and the queen of heaven, the woman pretty much has been reduced to spittle. Okay? So when you go here, I want to get this. All right, because as Jake said, you know, it was easy on him when he was broke because the women, they didn't expect nothing. They just wanted to ride. And that's the thing with the woman as well. Me and the other Zaha was talking on the way back from Memphis. And another narrative that Esau pushed, you know, is that men was just these uncontrollable, you know, sex addicts, all right, which we've all been over-sexualized, okay, but the, uh, the narrative was that the woman was just this innocent, you know, Mother Teresa, you know, Virgin Mary, you know, type figure, and men was just the ones that were just horny all the time and over-sexualized, but me and the other Zaha was speaking. The, the women are way more slave to their uh, sexual appetite than men. Way more of a slave. They, 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 they're way more driven by their sexual appetite than men. Okay, but the narrative was like it was, it was the, the men were just these, you know, brute beasts. And, you know? Well, nah, man, the women, they really operate in the low nature way more than men. Okay, and let's, let's 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 go to it now. You have this guy here. Okay, man comes home 35 years early after serving a 15 years in prison. Okay, now look at. He bred he bred different from this woman right here. And this is what the matriarch breeds. You know, now I'm not saying that every Jake, you know, to go to prison. Because let's say a lot of Jake go to prison, get their mind right, you know, never go back, you know, and be, you know, a very, you know, um productive man. You know, because hey, we coming from 
we come into environments to where there's trap set that we don't know about. But then you have niggas that's just, you know, just niggas, man. Okay, and look how he's embraced. Now, do they embrace Jake? They come from the military like that? Do they embrace, all right, Jake when he come from work like that? <laughs> you see? Let's keep playing it. This is the type of Jake, all right? He's been gone 15 years, so this nigga been locked up since Obama was in office, okay? So he'll come home from 15 years, okay, as a hero, all right? And what's gonna happen? The niggas gonna pull up on him, okay? They gonna give him their work pack, their, their, their guns, some Hennessy, some weed, all right, and it won't be long. But before he goes back, what is he gonna do? He's gonna go lay up for about two or three of these women that claim that they need so much from a man, okay, that they have all these high expectations for men when it comes to dating, lifestyle, cars, houses, you know, etc. All right, but this man right here will go lay up with two or three of those women, okay, they going to pay for everything. Matter of fact, they'll go get another job. Okay? And he's going to have two, three children. All right? Before he goes back. Okay? And this is why I say that this whole thing is a scam, man. Okay? This whole, you know, identity of, of the woman and, you know, this package that the woman presents. This shit is a scam. Okay, they don't be requiring nothing from these niggas, man. But Rod, that's it. You see? And this is why Jake is not playing into this shit anymore. Okay? And he'll he'll get these women pregnant. Okay? Go back to prison. Alright? And then these same women will try to come back on the scene with this package. Of these expectations and a man just supposed to absorb all right her the, these bad little niggas that you know <laughs> they come with it and it's like the, the she doing us a favor man get your ass out of here man play it out okay it's played out and let me, let me just show you okay you might think i'm 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 just talking all right let's get this uh, let's get this uh, yep so this was on on Facebook alright so you had one woman post ain't no D like fresh out of department of correction and another E reposted it yes ma'am okay Women operate in their low nature way more than, 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 than men. Majority of women. Okay? Now, this is the replies on it. Now, it was one reply. I thought I took a screenshot. But it was a Jake that said, Well, y'all know those some of those men have some of their men juice, you know, on their on the, on the ride. All right? And one of the women said, It's all good. We'll just, we'll just wipe it off. Okay, and that's talking about men dealing with other men in prison. Okay, and the woman was like, shit, it's all good. We just wipe it off. Showing you that when it comes to that low nature, the women is on a whole nother level when it comes to that, man. Look at the filthy rap. Because Jake, you know, was explicit with their rap music. But look at what you got from the women. The sexy reds and the Sukianas. Look at what they're saying. Okay, the lip gloss line, like, you know, Jake was freaky and Jake was explicit on some shit. But look at what they tell me, yellow discharge and 
you know, gonorrhea, like, you know, it's on a whole nother level. Okay? So you have these women, all right? And it's probably, I think it's like 7,000 comments, you know? It says, it says, wait, I can't wait. It says, no, for, for real, for real, mine come home the end of the year, and I'm there with bells. Uh, you not lying, nine more days. On God, no BS, baby. Y'all still, you know what I'm saying? So let's go here. It says, uh, when, Sel when Selvin gets out, bless my heart. I got pregnant less than three months later, and they had the same bid. Man, that was uh, me with J Daddy. Got out in January, got pregnant in March. Oh, this ain't your first rodeo. So this is Eve having this conversation, which, you know, at the end of the day, to each his own. Okay, but my thing is, you be this, you be loyal, all this loyalty and all this submissiveness and, you know, worship, okay, of these type of men, but then you try to market yourself, okay, in society, like, it just costs so much to even begin to deal with you, man, get your ass out of here, man, okay, it's a scam, <laughs> okay and it's played out all right it is a scam and it's played out man and 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 let's go here okay this is first corinthians 3 and um 19 it says for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high okay because there was a time you know when i like say you know that you know this single mother you know, the, the ratchet Eve, you know, was a glorified thing. You know, it, that was looked at as wisdom. It was imitated. Okay. But now we're really seeing the foolishness of it, man. Especially since we've been enlightened, man. Okay. It said, for it's written, he takes the wise in their own craftiness, man. Because this is a creation of Esau Edom. You know. The modern ratchet nigga woman is a, is, a, is a Frankenstein of Esau used to weaken the nation. But now, all right, it, it, this type, this same, you know, thing that was glorified and, and, and sought after. OK, men are drawing back. You know, so that's the point, you know, just want to bring that out, man. This is, this is a scam. Okay, and if you still going for it, if you still taking these hoes on dates and, you know, playing into this narrative and, you know, trying to be this hero for, all right, her poor decision making, you're super stupid. Okay, and you deserve everything that come with it. You know, Charlotte Wong. So many old hoes, they too far gone. It is played out to sit up. Let a nigga run up in you wrong, nut in you, and then blame him for you being a single mother when the whole concept of my body, my choice, is showing that it's on us to birth a child, right? Takes two to create the baby, meaning for you to get pregnant, but it only takes one motherfucker to decide that the baby's gonna be born, right? It is played out. These old bitches have played it the fuck out for you to let a nigga fuck you wrong. You let him fuck you wrong because men fuck who they can women fuck who they want and this is me speaking about the majority women fuck who they want and rather you put on a rubber or not it's up to me because guess what my body and my life is going to bear the most responsibility if i have a child it's played out to keep laying up getting pregnant from no good ass niggas or niggas that you don't even know if he good or not and then acting like a victim later on when the child's born and you can't get no motherfucking help people like me we don't feel sorry for you there's enough examples for us in our community from your great great motherfucking grandma down to your mammy right now bitch it's played the fuck out